Welcome to Gospel Greetings, Practical Encouragement for Living Out Your Faith in the Marketplace. This week, we continue our series called Signs of the Times. Last week, we did Stages of Persecution from 1 Peter 4. Dear friends, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on you to test you as though something strange were happening to you. If you were insulted because of the name of Christ, you are blessed. Now, I don't know how far we are from persecution that involves torture and death, but there are signs that resistance to our Christian faith is growing. Last week, I described five stages of persecution from Dr. Jeremiah's book, The Book of Signs. This week, I continue with Jeremiah's effects of persecution, and next week, we'll talk about our responses to this persecution. So, the effects of persecution from Acts 4 then the Sanhedrin called them in again and commanded them not to speak or teach at all in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John replied, which is right in God's eyes, to listen to you or to him? You be the judges, but as for us, we cannot help speaking about what we have seen and heard. Here we see modeled for us just one effect of persecution, and that is courage. Peter and John had been dragged before the Sanhedrin for healing a lame man on the Sabbath. Then they were commanded to cease preaching Christ. The, apost the apostles pushed back courageously by saying, we will obey God, not you. You see, courage reflects Christian character in adverse circumstances. It is the crucial virtue that we Christians must deploy when facing cultural demands that conflict with biblical teaching. The next is character. Although persecution is inflicted by enemies of God, God can use it to mold us into greater Christ-likeness. As Paul told us, we glory in tribula tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope from Romans 5. Persecution also proves godliness. As Paul put it, all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution, 2 Timothy. It's a matter of simple logic. Why would the enemies of Christianity bother with anyone who is not displaying the nature of Christ? Persecution also produces joy. When we realize the purpose and positive results of suffering persecution, it can become a source of joy, as it was for Paul and Silas when they were arrested, beaten, and thrown into prison. These disciples were so joyful, they burst into song and a revival broke out. This tells us that the source of our jo joy is our relationship to God, and that relationship is affirmed when we courageously endure persecution. And finally, persecution provides rewards. The scriptures hold many promises of rewards for those who endure suffering. Often we allow these future rewards to be obscured by immediate gratifications. What are some of these rewards? We'll be avenged, be given perfect and abundant lives, find eternal rest, receive a crown of eternal life, no more death or fear. So we see that persecution, while difficult, can actually bring to the forefront courage, character, godliness, joy, and rewards. There's actually blessings in enduring prosecution, persecution. Let's pray. Dear Father, let us learn to understand and endure persecution with a heart expectantly awaiting Jesus' return and our eternal reward. We pray this in Jesus' name.